Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now, before we went on the break, we promised you that this section is to teach you how to make sales on Instagram, Facebook, whatever social media platform. I personally have pushed my market via Instagram, and today we have someone who will teach us just exactly what you need to do and what you need to refrain from doing to boost your sales on social media. Her name is Nelly Agbogu. She's fondly called Niger Brand Chick. She's a self-taught digital and social marketing strategist for small business owners with over five years of professional experience. A 2017 Tony Elumelu Fellow, Oracle Database Administrator, and the first Nigerian Instagram coach to effectively, effectively train over 22,000 business owners in 18 cities. She's also an author of How to Elevate Your Business Using Instagram, a book targeted to help small business owners in Nigeria. We have with us Niger Brand Chick herself <laughs> that will teach Leila and I and you as well how to push our market to the prominent side. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You Thank so you so much for joining us. Thank I'm so excited. <laughs> what actually piqued your interest in social media marketing? Well, I, when I started my business, I wanted to, you know, learn how to use social media, Instagram to be precise, to push my market. And someone charged me 250000 I had to receive cents <laughs> and look for a style, looking for how to, you know, educate myself on how to use Instagram. I started going for online courses on, you know, I mean, then when I started, the online courses I was going for weren't here in Nigeria. So I will have to pay and watch the replay the next day. So because most of them were in the US. And I did that. I invested, at least if I didn't invest more, I invested like $1,000. In, which is now even almost the same thing with the 250,000. But the plan of, about it now is that it helps me more because it was very well educated, um, step by step for me to understand how to use Instagram. And before, after that word, I started pushing, you know, implementing, executing, which is very important. And that is why I'm where I am today. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> now, you. some people are extremely focused on their followership and other people are extremely focused on their engagements and their insights, etc. Mm -hmm. Now, different brands look for different things. Some okay. brands want to see that ah, you have 250,000 followers and some brands want to know that, you know what, this person knows how to hold a conversation. Okay. Where do you find that balance and what is the best starting point when trying to build up an Instagram page like that? When trying to build up an Instagram page, I would like you to, first of all, focus on your community. I understand that having followers really matters, but one thing that people are beginning to understand is that the area of when you had 1 million followers or 500,000 followers, it doesn't really matter because these small micro-influencers are coming up and they have this kind of engagement. People are listening to them and people are looking at them and saying, oh, wow, this, this person is now becoming an authority in this. This person is becoming an authority in that. And all, all of a sudden, you see this brand marketers who are trying to get um, connect those big brands to those influencers. They are no longer looking for those big names because one thing about it is that those celebrities, those big names, what happens is that because people already follow them, they don't engage as much as they should be doing. But why are we the small micro influencers? We are always talking, we're always pushing our brand, we're always on the social media trying to make sure that if you give us or if you try to, you're trying to market one product, we plan on making sure that you get not just you have good results from the particular product you are getting but most of the time those big ones they will just post it for you and uh, anything you get that is it all right let's yeah. talk about building community you mentioned that yes people should be more focused on building their community yes. how exactly can you build a community on social media um be yourself that is one thing I always say to you just be yourself don't try to be somebody else just don't try to I see a lot of people who fake to, to can take pictures outside. They will make wear makeup. They will take pictures outside before they will now come and post it on Instagram. But when you see them in real life, you will be like, well, "What's happening?" When I used to do my live videos, even now I have repented. I, I used to I don't I used to have <laughs> hair net on my head mm -hmm. <laughs> because I'm a mom. For crying out loud, I'm trying to juggle out being a mom, being a, a owner of Nellis.ng, running Niger brand chick at the same time. And, you know, and I was also going to school at Lagos Business School at that time. And I'm, I'm doing these things, and I don't have time to come and start doing makeup. Like, let's be real. I don't even know how to do the makeup properly. So let me just be myself. And people just fell in love with the fact that, oh, wow, I can relate to you because I don't, I, I see no reason why I should be doing a makeup by 9 o'clock when I'm teaching someone. Or, do you understand? So people just fall in love with you when you're yourself. And when you become yourself, then you can now grow to be a better form of yourself. And from there onwards, people will start saying, you're like, oh, wow, this person has something to say. This person has something to contribute. This person has something that I think my audience will want. Then you now start asking yourself, how do you now target a, a specific um, tribe or a specific people? So if you're into fashion, 
you can start talking things about fashion. You can start, you know, behaving or well, try to, you know, develop yourself when it comes to things that has to do with beauty and all. So when it, if it's small businesses, if you notice I have been specifically trying to target small businesses, and that is what I'm doing. So because of I, anytime you want to um, look for someone who has to do with small businesses, you will always remember Nigeria Branchy because I have consistently done that. Same thing with Nelly's. I have also done the same thing by making sure that I keep talking about healthy living, healthy lifestyle. This one is a struggle. We're all going to lose weight one day, but let us just know that it's a journey. We're going to make it one day. Do you understand? So you have to continuously, consistently try to build a brand by, you know, slipping into it, talking about the things that you want people to know about you. You know, not necessarily your personal life. Do you understand? Okay, so not necessarily your Pers personal no, life. No, no, no. Okay. No, no I, I really <laughs> don't show my personal life so much on social media, but it's as if people know everything about me. You just have to learn how to balance it. Interesting. So, yes, because we, they want to know that I'm, I, I'm like you, but at the same time, they just don't know so much about you. They know that you're a mom. They know that you're a wife. They know that you have children. They know that you may have nanny's issue once in a while. They know, you do understand, but they really don't know anything else, basically. They just know what you tell them. And, you know, so this is also what comes. This is where the, the brand persona comes in. This is where people now see you. That's why I tell people, just it's better you keep a certain things to yourself because... If you don't, what happens is see me finish. Sorry, I'm going to use the word. Of course. Because see me finish is, they were like, oh, uh, I, then I thought she was this. But you have to always keep this one kind of brand um, persona you have to always showcase. Does not mean that life is perfect. Do you understand? But also, let people also understand that things, that also, you also have your own struggles. And they see it in other ways. As I said, they see it when I'm not having time to make up to do my live videos. Like, man, the struggle is real. I've just finished dropping my kids from the bird. And they don't need to see my kids. Do you understand? Yeah. But they just know. And I tell them and I narrate the story. Some people come to me, they're like, oh, Nelly, I think I know your whole story. <laughs> I'm like, well. Oh, yeah. So you're you just don't. keeping people guessing, essentially. Now, yes. let's also speak about visuals and aesthetics on Instagram. Instagram. What Definitely. career paths do you have to be in to really and truly care about how aesthetically uh, pleasing your Instagram page actually is? I don't think you need to go to any school really to have good pictures. No, what career path, like what careers in particular need to focus on having an aesthetically pleasing Instagram page? There's, I, I don't, sincerely, I don't feel there's anyone, any career, anybody can actually have a very good team, a very good picture, um, um, Instagram page. All you need to do is to take time to learn how to take pictures. Instagram even has filters. Have we ever asked ourselves, why did Instagram add filters to it? Why did they have to add edit? Because they know that what catches people's eyes is the pictures, the visuals. You can't... I keep telling people, it's simple. It's just like a guy trying to check a girl. For, for crying out loud, you first of all, like, oh, wow, I love the way you look. Before we now start coming to know who you are. So if you are not appealing to our eyes, so when you, your pictures are not nice, your, your pictures are not appealing to me, then, then your captions are not, because that is where the beauty, which is the, the pictures, the content, then the caption is the braids. All right, let's so, quickly <laughs> talk about caption real quick. How do you catch that clickbait type caption that makes people want to read further? It's called copywriting. I have learned and mastered the way that people have to I help my audience read so I because I know I'm working with small businesses most of them have not gone to, my, to all these business schools most of them are, you have graduated but Instagram looks like as if you're speaking like a doctor so you have to come down to their level instead of using those big words so if I want to say something like how to captivate your audience I'll just say how to get your audience to see do you understand change them break down the words small by small Understand your audience. When you understand your audience and what they want from you, it makes life very easy. You will be so surprised the way people will just get attracted to you. Okay. Interesting. So Interesting. Um, I want to ask, I know you have a, an event coming up, yeah. but before then, very quickly, in 30 seconds, what would you say are your top do's and don'ts on Instagram to boost sales? One, you have to be relatable, personable. You have to be relatable, you have to be personable, and also you have to just be authentic, be consistent. Then what I, you should never do, stop spamming people's pages with your comments. Like people actually block people, people mute people. Stop, don't post 50 pictures in one hour and say, wow, I have posted all the pictures. No, it doesn't work that way. What happens is that we will mute you. You will not even know. Nowadays, we don't, we don't block. We don't unfollow. We mute. You will be there and say, oh, why is it that I'm not making sales? It's simply because we're not even seeing you. So please, please. 
do not go cold, cold DMing people. You have to walk towards being into the person's DM. You have to first of all start by you know, commending the person before you walk into the person's DM. Mm. So yes. In fact, we can't exhaust this conversation. I think we definitely need to have a part two. Definitely but you have an do. event coming up shortly. Yes, we do. All right, tell us about it. So I, I just come up with an idea of having small businesses between those zero to three years who are just starting up businesses and always on social media. We're trying to bring them all together, have a masterclass, have a place where they can trade and get in offline buyers because some people feel living in an Instagram bubble. And we kind of to explain to them that Instagram is not all everything. So this the masterclass is to help you to understand how to grow your business while the trade fair will also help you to buy and sell and get more people to have more eyeballs to your products. Because so many people, you know, we have more than 70 million um, posts that is made every blessed day in an hour so you you cannot be seen all the time so this is just a way of making sure that people get to see your products people get to see you and then you can make more sales and you know everybody's happy <laughs> brilliant thank, thank you. you so much though for this extensive information to enjoy more of this our going get videos when you just watch press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page you go love her